What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? Today, I wanna to share with you guys a quick tip on storing your tackle in the right type of tackle tray. I see a lot of people make the mistake of putting the wrong lures in the wrong type of tackle tray, and you're not only gonna be losing out on efficiency and organization, but those lures, if put in the wrong type of tray, can actually get destroyed because the tray was not designed for them. And I'll elaborate all on that in a second, but I wanna start with the actual designs of the boxes themselves and what they were designed to be used with. This is probably the most classic design of tackle tray out there. Most of you are probably familiar with it, but it's just your compartment style of tackle tray that you've got these long set pieces of tray, and then you can organize the individual compartments by moving these yellow tabs. This type of box is specifically designed for your hard baits, your top waters, your crank baits, all of your really hard plastic lures. If you try to put soft plastics in here, you're gonna have a really bad time because these trays were not designed to hold the actual bags, and a lot of people what they'll do is pull the individual soft plastics out and put them in those trays and leave the bag out or throw it away and that is actually going to destroy the lures the tray themselves is not meant to hold soft plastics and actually the soft plastics themselves some of them won't even react well with the tray and they could just melt from being in the tray alone but a lot of them do have oils and scents and it's going to destroy the tray and making it smell really bad and you're just going to end up not using it just because it's terrible now secondly we look at this type of tackle tray design this is specifically for your soft plastics because we can store the actual bags themselves in here. If we look, I've got two different bags of soft plastics on this top tray. I've got some areas for those hooks and jigs that I'm gonna be using with them. And if I flip it over, we actually have some more storage over here for some more soft plastic trays. I've got another bag here and another bag under that. And then I do have a utility tray if I did wanna keep some hard plastics in here or I wanted to put a bottle of Procure or some braid cutting scissors, I could fit that in there. Unfortunately, I can't keep a ton of hard baits in here just because there's not a whole lot of space. And with hard baits, you know, you've got suspending twitch baits, sinking twitch baits, top waters, crank. There's so many different hard baits you can put in here. I would not try to utilize this as your hard bait section just because you're gonna be losing out on a lot of storage. But if you're looking for something that's gonna give you the best of both worlds, I would recommend you check out this Flambo Ultimate Tough Tainer. Basically what this is is just combines the open space that you can use to store your soft plastics as well as some cart compartmentalization so you can store your hard baits as well. You can even fit some other little things in here like popping corks or pre-rigged soft plastics and you can actually put your jig heads and stuff in here but as you can see, I've got two bags of soft plastics right here. Even that little tray style Z-Man bag, all I had to do was fold the corners and I can put it in here. Now on top of that, your hard baits are gonna be protected from rust and stuff because this does have those sealed edges and it does have the rust stricter material in it as well. That planer that I showed you earlier is a $30 box that has the water wick that pulls all the water and stuff off. It's made with the rust stricter and it's sealed. This one is only $9. You can fit your soft plastics in it and you can fit your hard baits in it. It's sealed and it does have the rust stricter as well. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll pick a box a lot like this one if I don't know what baits I'm gonna use on that day. So just to recap, make sure that you pick your tray based on the type of lures that you know you're going to throw. If you know you're going to favor soft plastics, go with a soft plastic tray. If you're going to throw hard baits, go with a hard bait tray. If you don't know what you're gonna throw, I recommend you pick up one of these Flambo boxes. They're great, it allows you both options while keeping everything protected. And if you would like to grab one of these, we do have them in the Salt Strong shop at a discounted rate for our insiders at 20% off. This is the WP4005 series. I highly recommend you guys grab one and I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to learn something from it. And if you're putting your lures in the wrong type of tackle tray, make sure that you make this correction so you don't cost yourself any more money. So guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live so strong and wear the line today.